An unassuming stage, but a champion team were coming to play and Portugal's supporters were out in force. The big picture, the defence of that European title. The subplot, the star turn and his personal quest. Win here in Luxembourg and Portugal would qualify. Score twice and Cristiano Ronaldo would reach 100 international goals. The captain with two targets in mind. On a freezing night, the large local Portuguese community made the away team feel at home. But Luxembourg had their own story to tell. Maurice de Ville went close as they sought a first win over Portugal in 58 years. Ronaldo soon had the chance to shine as he sought goal number 99. An early sighter for the man so many had come to see. But the hosts weren't following the script. From a corner, Gerson Rodriguez expertly placed and frustrated not to test the keeper. A bobbly pitch was closing the gap in class, but the top teams can find different ways to thrive. A long pass from Bernardo Silva and Bruno Fernandes with a glorious finish. Portugal won up at half-time and now just 45 minutes from the finals next year. Now was not the time to loosen the grip. The reigning champions came out hungry for a second. Down went Fernandes and up would step Ronaldo with the expectation hitting fever pitch. Perhaps his personal landmark would have to wait, but the team's progress had to be sealed tonight. With time running out, at last the second goal arrived. Diogo Jota all but scored his first for his country. Ronaldo poached his 99th instead. The most important of the targets had been hit. Ronaldo had led Portugal to Euro 2020. Fernando Santos's men will be back on the biggest stage to defend their European title. Importantly, we've shown once again that we're one of the big teams. We've now qualified for 11 consecutive major finals, so congratulations to the players and to Portugal.